originally, uh, when I got in the, the, done the exams, they put me into the wireless section. I couldn't understand wireless, so it didn't happen. And I said to the chaps, and he was talking then about making me in the guards. I said, I don't be in the guards. He said, what did you do? And I said, well, look, my apprenticeship, I said, means dope. And I know about dope because dope was done on the Tiger Moss. That's how all their elevators and things were done on. So then they sent me down to Melbourne. I do a different course altogether on the normal things. From there, I went to Ewan Quinty. No, actually, I went to Canberra first, then to Ewan Quinty. No, Tokemold first. Then I come back to Ewan Quinty. Then went to Parks. And at Parks is where I was posted, OTU, and that's when the war ended. And strangely enough, I always played tennis. I had a tennis racket all over the place when I was shifted around. And the night when the lights came on in Parks, I played tennis the first night. <laughs> Had a wonderful time in the Air Force. A lot of friendship, real friendship. I mean, you, you know, you each on each on the other's arms. And our job was to look after the planes on the airstrip. We went out to the young pilots because at Ewan Quinty, that's where all the young pilots were being taught. We used to have to run out on the rings on the tarmac with all the dirt and the dust and things flying up on your face and that sort of stuff. But from there, when I went to Parks, I went to Crash Hangar, and that was different altogether. And it was such a situation that you had to really settle down and make sure that you'd done it because once something broke and you gave the pilots, they had to go back out and test pilot. And if they were two seaters, you went with them. If it was one seater, you just prayed. But you was dedicated, and that's the fact.